video. So the messages I was getting for you guys was I was getting like debating on changing jobs or taking an opportunity maybe you've got presented or of course this could be future energy but i do feel like that's a decision that you are going to have to make um in the near future also i was getting um finding a smarter way to make money so i do feel like a lot of you guys are going to completely re redo reinvent the way you bring in your income whether this is going from a job to having your own business whether this is getting into investing getting into real estate whatever it is that you are planning on changing this is going to change your life in a super big way so whatever it is that you're looking into or whatever do continue to explore down that path because it will lead you to success so i do want to give a big thank you to everyone that has joined my patreon and also to everyone who has purchased merch definitely do be sure to go check that out on source to merch com the phone cases are my absolute favorite so definitely do go check that out also of course um, personal reading everything is down in the description why do i keep wanting to say downstairs i can't i can't even talk today but anyway yes do be sure to go check that down in the description box and yeah let's go ahead and get into your reading also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Okay, let's go to the messages for Scorpio. Here are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Thanks. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords energy here in the moon. For some reason, I'm getting... Um, you're trying to move smart in a situation or you almost want to say keep something a secret as well. You're trying to handle some information that you have wisely. So whatever that means to you, I will clarify to see maybe deeper into that. But I definitely feel that you're wanting, you're not wanting to like talk about a situation or maybe you're not sure what to do with some information that you have or something that you have. We do have the Magician card here as well, so I definitely feel you're making something happen or you're wanting to make something happen. I'm, okay, so you could just be moving in silence right now as far as, um, you know, what you want to do as far as work, possibly even love. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here, the um, Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, so there definitely could be an offer here. Maybe you're trying to keep something quiet, like maybe about a love situation or something like that, or maybe somebody said something to you and you're keeping it a secret. Yeah, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio? Or possibly the advice is to keep something a secret. Maybe a new um, connection that you're in or something like that. Okay, yeah. Hermit card and the devil. So maybe somebody else. Oh, okay. So maybe some of you are dealing with someone that wants to keep a relationship with you a secret. Okay, so we do have the devil card energy here. Some of you guys, of course, can be dealing with the Capricorn. But as far as secrecy goes and the devil energy, I do feel like somebody may be trying to manipulate you in some sort of way, especially with the magician card here. We do have the three of cups energy. So let's see what's going on. Of course, we could be talking about a relationship, friendship or something like that. But for some of you, it's a relationship, two of cups energy. And for some of you, it's a friendship, six of cups energy. So we're going to see what's going on here. I definitely feel that there are some secrets going on as far as maybe your friend group, co-workers, or even a relationship. Why is the Knight of Swords energy here? So you guys can deal with the Gemini Signs of seeing a Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn, whoever. We do the night. Yeah, trying to make the, the best decision. Okay, so trying to figure out what the best decision is for you. Two of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Maybe, okay, leaving somebody, possibly leaving somebody for someone else. Okay, some of you guys have had a reconciliation from someone with the past. Why is the Moon card energy here? Okay, yeah, somebody secretly talking to a past person. Whether this is you, or this is somebody that you're dealing with, or whatever. Somebody is secretly talking to someone from the past. Why is the moon card here? Oh, Empress card and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be pregnant or have gotten somebody pregnant here. Um, and it's a secret. Somebody's keeping it a secret for now. Let's see who they're keeping it a secret from. Possibly this earth sign. They're keeping it a secret from an earth sign. Possibly from their mom. Um, this card's not supposed to be in there. Possibly from their mom, sister, or somebody that they're with. Give me more on the moon card. Okay, yeah, they don't want to cause drama. And I almost feel that somebody is trying to manipulate someone into thinking something else that is not true. Magician cards come out twice now. Somebody just wants everything to go smoothly. 
Like they don't want to call. They know if they this is out in the open, it's going to cause issues. Why is the moon card here? Yeah, somebody's got a pregnancy scare or something like that. And they're trying to keep it a secret. They don't want anybody to know. No one around them, co-workers, nothing. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune energy here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune energy? Oh, okay, so this message might only be for one or none of you, but one something one time... Almost like a one night stand. They got pregnant from the one night stand. I feel like this is something that is happening and like they're not sure. Somebody's not sure how to get this information out or how to calmly tell everyone, their friends, family, possibly even the, the relationship that they're in that this happened. So clarifying the wheel of fortune, we have the Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups coming out twice here. Yeah, you got a lot of love offers coming into you. And maybe you haven't really spoke about this or maybe you're unaware of the attention that you're getting but you are getting a lot of attention right now and it's like i do see offers coming in clarifying the ace of cups and the nine of swords so maybe worried that somebody won't come forward or worried wondering why maybe something is not moving forward in a relationship and i do feel like that goes back to this moon card energy like somebody like maybe if you feel as if something's not moving forward and you're very confused about what is going on between you and this person it's because they're keeping this connection a secret why is the nine of swords energy here yeah, Nine of Wands. Like, maybe this relationship right off the bat is already very difficult. And this does feel like a new person. They're lying. It's like, this person is just straight up lying about something. And it's like, maybe you feel as if you're putting more into the connection than this person is. Can we deal with the Aries? We deal with the Emperor card here, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, something is not moving forward. Like, there's an obstacle in the way of this moving forward. And I feel like the obstacle could be this mistake that somebody made or um, possibly this person already is in a connection with somebody else. Why is the Seven of Wands energy here? So the love energy just kind of took over this. I will pull a couple of career cards for you guys as well. Why is the Seven of Wands energy here? Ooh, six of cups. Okay. Yeah, some somebody doesn't want you, somebody has two people, three of cups energy. And usually I don't associate the three of cups with the third party. Um, but I do feel like in this case, somebody is hiding something and I think it's a third party here. Somebody is in a sticky situation as far as this goes. Sorry, my neighbors are a lot of shit. But anyway, somebody is in a sticky situation as far as this goes. Someone allowed temptation to get the best of them and i feel like a pregnancy came out of it so of course that message is probably not for everyone but i do feel that somebody that's in that situation this person um as far as moving forward in a relationship with them it is not going to turn out well um clarifying the hermit card we have the five of cups so hermit this represents you know listening to your higher self a very spiritual card definitely um, your intuition in the universe speaking to you um, I do feel like if you pursue this connection with this person, the shit is not going well. Of course, if you have a perfect relationship, this is not your reading. But um, for someone that is dealing with a manipulator, this is not going to get any better. Uh, lover's card energy, the chariot card, it's time to move on from this or time to move forward from this because you do have uh, better love coming in, possibly with the Cancer, Mosque and Gemini here as well. But you do have a better option coming in here. And it's like the person that you're dealing with, devil and the nine or the knight of wands, it's like this person is only interested in having fun. They're not here for the long term. So definitely do um, consider that as you are dealing with this person. Like if you're confused and just are not sure what the hell is going on with this, it's because this person's keeping secrets. And you're going to find out about it, what's going on if you haven't already. Why is the three of cups energy here? Why is the Three of Cups energy here? Yeah, Three of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, Three of Wands in the reverse. Nothing's going to come of this relationship. I do feel like it's very important to know that. It's time to walk away from what, whatever this situation is going on here. But this person, they, they are carrying so many secrets. Like, somebody is straight up in another relationship. I also feel that, I don't know, I almost want to say, like, abandoned. I feel like somebody... And when shit gets hard, they're just going to abandon you. So it's very important. I do you know the beauty about tarot is this could be future energy that we're talking about. 
do not continue to fuck with this person because a pregnancy could come out of it and they abandon you. So do really be careful when it comes to you deciding who you want in your life at this time because it's like the moon card energy is just shady shit. And of course, representing Pisces season, the truth does come out this season. Things that have been or in the dark for a long time are going to be coming out this season. So do... Um, like, I don't know, I almost want to say this is a warning type of energy. Like, this could have, this maybe hasn't happened yet. So, this is a warning. Do not continue to mess with this situation here because there's a lot more than you are, that you are not aware of. So, I do hope that, oh wait, hold on. Let me pull some career cards. Fucking love just kind of took over. That, of course, can be something that you guys are dealing with at this time. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Scorpio's career? Ooh, okay. Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. See you being successful with something here. The Ace of Swords this does represent victory. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. So, of course, some of you guys could be pursuing something, like pursuing a project. Maybe you're doing something online. Maybe you're, um, you know, starting a business, whatever it is, going to school, finding a new job. Whatever this is, do pursue it because it is going to be a success for you. And I feel like you're not going to have to worry about some shit. So possibly not worry financially. Um, and I feel like you're not even going to be worried about relationships, things like that, because you're going to be so focused on your business. And then the right person is going to come in for you. Somebody stable. Okay. Yeah. Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. It's time to take action and save money. And this is what this is telling me here. Four of Pentacles. Keep your resources and your money close to you at this time. This is not a time to overspend and things like that. But yeah, Queen of Wands energy is time to take action towards what it is that you want to do. And don't be afraid. Queen of Wands, she also represents confidence. Don't be afraid to go ahead and pursue what it is that you want to pursue. Be confident that you do have a good idea and that the services or that you provide or the things that you create are things that people will want to see and will want to purchase because it's the truth. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you have any other questions or would like a personal reading, of course, you can visit my website at swordschannel.com. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.